say there, lads, it's Tidge, and I'll have to start a new game, as you've noticed. But, oh well, basically I've had to start a new game, because I want to import some stars in, and accidentally I've put some stars in already. So, basically I just go to episode 2, which this is, to basically do the new one. It might be episode 1, actually, now. I might just delete the other one. Anyway, let's start playing. And I'll let you listen to the... Um, the what's it? So here we go. Welcome to the dawn of the movie industry. The year is 1920, and your new studio's success lies in your hands. You must guide it to greatness. You must create the biggest movies and employ the most famous stars as you strive to reach the summit of the studio charts and reap the rewards of victory. First, build a thriving studio. Hire wannabes and nurture them into your stars. Make the movies that'll get the big bucks rolling in and clean up at the awards. Then, with every award you win, with every success you enjoy, your studio's reputation will grow. Soon, stars from rival companies will flock to your studio, and you'll unlock new technologies, scenes, and sets to make your movies better than ever. So what are you waiting for? You've got a suitcase full of cash and a world of possibilities before you. Now get out there and start making your dreams come true. Because in the movie industry, anything is possible. Okay, so that's just wasted about a minute, actually. So, oh well, but let's go into the facilities box. And we have the casting office where you assign your cast. Crucially to where you hire or fire your movie crew. Makeover department where you, um, obviously makeover people, it's simple. Production office where you alter your employee salaries, get reviews here, and view your films. I'm not even going to talk about that one because you all know what that stink one is. This is where the script writers will make your scripts until you have the um, custom script writing office. Snack van is obviously where you get your snacks. Stage school is where actors and directors are hired. And the star and script sign facility is where the stars and scripts are sold to the highest bidder in order to rake in some extra cash. So, first, we're going to build a. What we're going to build first? We're going to do some. Uh, actually, let's. D build the. Let's build a stage school here. Is it going to build it here or maybe turn it round? I don't know. Uh, what does it look like? Um, could have it round. No, let's have it here actually. Let's have it um, central. That's central, I think. Okay, so that's there. Studio capital's gone down, but I don't care about that for the moment. Actually, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this. Back. Good morning, dear listener. You are tuned in to KNVS Wireless on a frequency of 121.5. And I am your wireless announcer, Mr. William McDuck. Thank you for joining me on such a beautiful day. Well, it would appear we have a new movie studio opening in town. So, if you're looking for employment in this fledgling industry, why not take a stroll over to the beach and hand in your resume. <laughs> so what that basically was... Oh. You don't need a good voice to be in a movie. <laughs> okay, so that's just the radio person who changed every 10 years. But what I want to do, I want to change the music up because I want to hear it. So, sound effects volume 20%. Okay. Let's do 15%. 15% actually. Let's pause this for the moment. Um, Tim rants. Wait a minute, we need to do this actually. <laughs> I did that because of um, I wanted a bit like of a grassy area here, which I'm going to do now actually. So we'll have tarmac leading in, and a path, which will be from here, 
onto here look quite nice and we're gonna have this grassy area here which will put a path around actually will come up a bit nice I guess wasting a bit of money but I won't for the studio so that grassy area will include some uh, we're gonna put the park bench here we're gonna put some benches on here some nice benches and maybe some bins need some bins with I like bins to be symmetrical I don't know why I'm now good at symmetry at school okay let's have two water fountains quite cool so we'll just need some trees to put in there um, let's put some palm trees in there actually right so zoom in there zoom in uh, where are we going to put this put the oh god no no that oh well that'll have to do we'll have to put three alongside each other make it quite cool there we go some stuff there and then maybe some flower beds in front of them look quite pretty and we're gonna have some hedges along the sides of the thing uh, no actually we're not gonna um, we're gonna have some flower beds here. oh no oh yay that looks right uh, so that looks quite cool there and some decoration for when you come in we can have the 1924 Chrysler on each side of the car. Look quite cool. That'll look quite cool. So, and then it comes in from here. And then we go to the stage school, which is here. So that'll look quite cool, actually. So we're going to have something. Now, I don't li I like to get some space, but I don't like to waste much space, if you know what I mean. So what are we going to have? We're going to have the crew facility here. We're going to have that a few blocks away. Put it in the middle there, actually. Uh, yeah. So that'll waste a bit of money, but oh well. I'm just trying to build, build it around this ornament place in the middle, so it'll look quite nice. Well, mostly, anyway. You ain't going to build all of it around it. Um, oh, God. So this is all you get in the studio, really. You don't get a bomb of space, so you can't really... And once the novelty value's gone down on some sets, I'll just chuck them away, really. Um, let's put the... Should we put the production office here? I say we do. Okay, so we need to put that a few blocks away. That can go here. £6,000 or dollars. That'll go to there. Look quite nice. So, if you look at that now, it looks quite good. Okay, so what we want is a some restrooms obviously um we'll put a snack van in this little cozy place um where do i put it actually i'm gonna put a few restrooms in there look all right what we'll have to do i'm a man and men don't care about restrooms at least so that's there and we can put a snack van in perhaps here that's where the snack van will be so that's another building there so we've got a few restrooms and all that script office i like to have that along here and just put that in pop that one path just put it in there uh, so that's the script writing office and maybe we can put we need to do the casting office the makeover department and all that first but we're gonna put the uh, i actually don't know where i can put my stuff i want to put the makeover department should i put it here no i'm not gonna i'm gonna put the casting office um should i put it in here uh no there's some part of space there, so we're going to put the casting office this way. There'll be no path for that, but I think I know where the path is. If you can just see it coming out of here. Why is it not doing that? It's a glitch, oh well. So, another path for that, actually. And we can do a path to there, I think. 
Remove that and put that there. So I can have some grass across this little bit. Little spice and some ornaments there. Look quite nice. Just some hedge maybe. All of this stuff does cost money. And quite a bit as well, so when you come round to doing this if you get the game. It's quite hard and you have to preserve your money. But you do gain money obviously in some ways. Just make some just make it look as attractive as I can. Have some paths in there and put some flower beds in there. Always looks nice. And a tree. A nice palm tree in there above them as well. And some yeah, so what else do we need? We need the makeover department, don't we? And we can put that detective down here. Pretty sure we can, but I'm not sure. Um, makeover department here. Doesn't look too attractive at the moment, but we can change that soon. Put one path in, I ain't gonna do two, I can't be bothered really. Um, can make a path to there. It's all about conserving money and how much money you can make with stuff. So, pop some grass in there. Pop some grass really most places because grass looks nice. It does. But obviously it needs a lot of um, doing to it. So that means you'll have to have some janitors which are in here. So I think that's mostly... Uh, actually we'll keep that there for the moment and let's go and hire some builds and janitors and build some stuff <laughs> I'll be able to hear myself, so it's best we do that. Hopefully, you guys can hear me now. Um, I'll have some music, obviously, in the background because I put prefer music. Um, I'll have a look at the end of the episode how it's gone, actually. What's been built? The claxons just said. Oh, it's the restaurants. Okay. So, get some builds in and get the builds on some of the stuff. Get some of the key stuff like this. Um, let me see. Fast forward, so that's good. I think the music in this game is really nice and peaceful. I know it sounds daft, but it is. So we're just waiting for some number, some people. Oh, oh, he looks alright. We're just gonna get some people to here. We're gonna hire three people, even though we made a few more. Relax, doesn't bore, even though it's sensible eater. And we've got Mandy Love, Gary Scare, Eliza Hills, and Lucas McCartney. Mandy Love's obviously a romance. So what we're gonna do? So we're gonna put her as a. She's going to be the one who is in romance. So that's Mandy Love. So that's Mandy Love with no experience at all yet. But she's obviously for romance really. And there's another woman. Uh, Mark Rose. Andy Barson. That looks cool. Mark Rose. Moody loves to laugh. So that oh, doesn't look that bad. We're going to put him as Gary Scare. Um, and the Barton. We're not gonna hire him. Um, she can be Eliza Hills. But she's gonna be a director. He's got a lot of skill, but I don't wanna stress part, so bother. 
so we've got our three stars in with absolutely well no experience yet so i'm gonna have some fun with this and i'll see you guys in a bit so i'll see you guys in a bit so i'll see you guys in a bit and again bye